uh, you said series three would be your last. I know. Series four <laughs> is tomorrow at 8.30 <laughs> on ITV. I got shanghai into it, Phil. I said, I'm not doing any more. I said, because I can't take any more. You see, the danger with me is I go in and I get fond of one, and yeah. it's usually the ones that are broken. And um, I said, I've got five, you know, I cannot be going home with any more dogs. And that's purely the reason you said you didn't want to do any more because you couldn't resist well, taking No, also, home. it's quite upsetting. That's mm -hmm. the other thing. It's not mm -hmm. a job you finish at five o'clock. You know, I'll go home and worry. Mm -hmm. And then you get involved, you know, with a dog that's been abused or, or seriously ill. And you wonder, is it ever going to get home? And it's all, it becomes all, you become obsessed in the end. I do anyway, because I love them, you know, I, I, I love them all. Mm. If but, I could take them all, I would. But there is a positive side to it as well. You say that you sort of take that home and you think about it, but they all do get, get, get rehomed. Yeah. So yeah. it is, I mean, it is good what you're doing. And also, since you've been doing it, the amount of funding that has gone to oh, Battersea Dogs really Home well. and the spotlight that's been turned on it is massive. Well, they're getting visitors from all over the world now, but they think I work there. <laughs> like they come down. Disappointed and when you're not yeah, there. You know, well, they normally find me in a kennel on my knees. <laughs> like, <laughs> hello, as they go past and I think it's this daft one. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a lovely job. But you know, extra really millions of pounds for it. I know, them. fabulous, isn't it? So it's yeah. been, it's yeah. been incredible. No, it's and been really you were well. saying uh, in the in the break a moment ago that uh, that y you have to cover up so many times for what you've put your. Oh, knee I'll in. be I'll be on the kennel floor, you know, and I'll be with dogs or whatever, and I'm talking to, like to, to one of the vet nurses or something, and I'll. I'll either I'll lean over and put my hand in something squishy. <laughs> I go, uh, uh, oh, yes. <laughs> and you have to carry on. And oh, I go, <laughs> 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 You're coming up through your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my well, I'm God, always, yeah. I go home and I get the, you know, the limo bikes. And yeah. they always look at me and they say, Look at the state of you. <laughs> I'm hanging in dog ears. I'm soaked to the skin. And a couple of bruises on me where, like, I've been playing with them. Do oh, you I get think. how big it is? No. No, not at all. I do. Under, I get lots of people coming up to me, you know, all the time about. They show me pictures of the dogs, or and they and they say things to me like, "How's that baby vulture? This will be in a supermarket." I say, "It's fine, thanks." <laughs> like I've, you know, like one of the Adams family got a vulture on me gutter in. Or how's that little elephant? Or how's that hippo? You know, and all this. Oh, the blind penguin, Sonny, and when I did Animal Orphans. Yeah, yeah. 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 He had a real. Well, it stays with you, like you said. It, it does. It stays yeah. with you. But um, yeah. you was in for an extra treat tomorrow night because. The gorgeous Tom Hardy. Oh, Tom came down. He's coming down. And you say he goes, he goes down. He goes down. Bit. He takes his son down. He goes down to relax. He finds it really relaxing in there. I can understand why, because he'll go along and he'll find a really a dog that he really likes, and he'll go in and sit with it. And then, of course, because he's got a load of dogs, he has to ring the missus up, and she's no more dogs. Really. <laughs>